In this video, we're going to look at the three main equations that you use when calculating things for pH. So we understand the concept of the pH scale, and now we get to do a lot of math with the pH scale. Okay, hooray! We're all so happy. Okay, um, there there are three main equations that you are absolutely going to have to know, memorize, ingrain it in your brain, um, and for sure know how to solve problems with it when we're talking about pH scale. Okay, I want to make sure that we understand this concept first. All right, so if I have two water molecules in a beaker of pure water, okay? Some of those water molecules are going to actually react with one another, like a, like a Bronsted-Lowry acid-base reaction, and form hydronium and hydroxide, okay? A very tiny, teeny tiny amount of them will actually ionize by themselves. This is called, it's two things, auto-ionization or self-ionization. Okay, two things. They mean obviously the same thing, right? Auto ionization, self ionization. Water is ionizing itself. Okay, so who knows which one, right? But this water donates a hydrogen to this water. Terrible arrow. We move on. Okay, making one hydronium and one hydroxide, making some acid particle, right? And some base particle or, you know, conjugate acid, conjugate base, if you were labeling the stuff. Okay, so that means in any pure water solution, right, this would have been pure water. In a pure water solution, I have acid and base particles. I have hydronium, I have hydroxide. It's just that in pure water, I have an equal amount of hydronium and hydroxide, okay? So pure H... 2O means I have an equal concentration of H3O plus and of OH minus. Okay, their concentrations are the same, which makes sense because that's pure water, right? That has a pH of 7. Where's my pH scale? Right, it has a pH of 7 for pure water. I don't have more hydroniums, I don't have more hydroxides, they're equal. Right, which is what leads us to our first equation that you have to know. Right? Three equations, here's the first one. So here's the first equation that you need to know. It is the equilibrium concentration for water. So the K, if you remember we, we did K of EQ, right? K of equilibrium, now this is the K of W, the K of water, right? The equilibrium constant for water. And this actually has a number that you get to memorize. Yay. All right. So at equilibrium, that means when I have pure water, okay, this will be pure water. I have the concentration of my acid part times the concentration of my base part, hydronium times hydroxide. Acid times my base equals this constant. 1.00 times 10 to the negative 14th, okay? It is a lovely number that you get to ingrain in your brain, okay? And this times 10 to the negative 14th, hopefully this number kind of jumps out at you, 14 would be my total pH scale number, right? My pH scale ranges from zero up to 14. This is why. It'll all make sense, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Okay, um, all right, so if I'm in pure water, that means I have equal amounts of hydronium and hydroxide. So in pure water, I can, you can do some algebra, all right? If this is fun for you, good on you, and I'm glad you like math. If not, just trust me on this, okay? If these are equal amounts, I could say like X times X, because both of these are the same amount equals 1.00 times 10 to the negative 14th. So this would be 2x equals 1.00 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 2. And you would find that x, which would be the concentration of your hydronium and the concentration of your hydroxide, equals 1.00 times 10 to the negative 7th. 
this is for pure water, right? Concentration of OH minus and the concentration of H3O plus. I promise we're getting somewhere, hang, hang with me, okay? I would get that the concentration of both of these things in pure water is one times 10 to the negative seventh. Okay, so maybe if we, we look at it like this, right? The concentration of H3O plus and the concentration of OH minus would be one times 10 to the negative seventh. And just to make sure we're all comfortable with the negative exponent, right? That doesn't mean the number itself is negative. That means the decimal gets smaller when we move that decimal. Scientific notation, we'll just three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Okay. So the concentration of H3O plus is 0 0.000001 molar molar. Okay, they have the same molarity. Always concentration is in molarity. Molarity is moles per liter. Just make sure you know that piece. Okay, but right now they have an even amount. If I had a solution that was more acidic, that would mean I would have a higher concentration of H3O plus. So this number would be bigger and this number would be smaller in an acid you know, in an, in an acid solution. If I had a basic solution, this number would be bigger and this number would be smaller, which is what gets us to our second equation. We'll come, we'll come back to this. We'll do another one with this. I know, fun. <laughs> Bear with me, all right? It'll all make sense in the end, or it won't, and we'll still do problems with it anyway, okay? All right, so this is our second equation that we have to know the pH of a solution. So how to solve for the pH of a solution. That equals the negative logarithm of the concentration of your hydronium, right? So it equals the negative log, because pH is on a log scale, of how acidic your solution is. All right, so if we were looking at pure water, this horrible one we just did, okay? Um, I know that the concentration of my H3O plus is one times 10 to the negative seventh. So let's actually solve, okay? So in pure water, my concentration of H3O plus is one times 10 to the negative seventh molar, okay? So if I were solving, pH equals negative log of the concentration of H3O plus, which is one times 10 to the negative seventh. And we do put these brackets, right? These square brackets, not parentheses. So then you get your calculator, and depending on the calculator, you might press the actual uh, like negative button. Don't make sure this is this is the negative. Okay, not the minus. Don't press the subtract button. Your calculator will be like error, error, ah. Okay, the negative button sometimes that's down by the zero. It'll have like a little negative slash positive button. Um, you can search around for it. Okay. But make sure you press the negative button, so you'll press negative, push the button log, and then you'll type 1 times 10 to the negative 7th, or you could press negative log 1, and then the EE -E button. This means times 10 to the something power, and then you would type, again, negative 7, okay? So this would be the negative. It sounds silly, but I want to make sure that you actually solve this correctly. Okay, if you did this for pure water, you should get that the pH of pure water is 7, which, what do you know, it actually is. Okay, all right, let's do some more problems with these horrible equations. All right, so what if you don't have pure water, right? What if you have an actual solution? because it's very rare that we're actually working with pure water in the lab. It's not a lot to do, okay? If I have a solution or a problem like this, okay? Find the concentration of H3O plus if the concentration of OH minus is 2.3 times 10 to the negative ninth, okay? Ooh. What I do is I use my first equation, okay? Because no matter what, even if it's not pure water, I can use this for the constant. So we plug it in, all right? So I know my concentration of OH minus. I don't know my concentration 
of H3O plus. So the concentration of H3O plus times the concentration of OH minus, which is 2.3 times 10 to the negative ninth should equal my constant Kw 1.00 times 10 to the negative 14th. So now to solve for H3O plus, I have to isolate my variable. Divide by 2.3 times 10 to the negative ninth on both sides. Woo, so fun. Okay, and then you would find that concentration of H3O plus is, type in your calculator, all right, uh, you should get 4.3 times 10 to the negative sixth molar. Okay, and just a, a nice little tip, <laughs> again, for calculating, all right, for, for pushing numbers. When you put this into your calculator, okay, your calculators are dumb. You need to help them out, all right? Type in, when you're, you're solving this, type 1 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by parentheses 2.3 times 10 to the negative 9th parentheses, okay? The reason why is because some calculators will not recognize when you press this times 10 to the negative 9th, they'll see the times, they'll be like, oh, times, I'm back on the numerator, which you're not, right? So, so then all of a sudden it will put this times 10 to the negative 9th on the numerator, you'll get something like 4.3 times 10 to the negative 23rd or something ridiculous, okay? So please make sure, it's my dog in the background, my apologies, that you put parentheses on your denominator for these so you don't just miss the problem simply because you, you press buttons wrong, okay? All right, now what if I had this same solution and I was asked, is it acidic or basic? Okay, easiest way to do that is to just solve for pH, all right? So then I can use my second equation and solve for the pH. I now have my H3O plus concentration, so I can solve and see exactly how acidic, where on this pH scale does it land. Okay, so different color, the pH equals the negative log of 4.3 times 10 to the negative sixth. And you type this wonderful thing in your calculator and you get that the pH is 5.4. It is in fact acidic, okay? It's less than seven, so it's acidic. And, you know, we can take these two numbers and compare them just to make sure that it makes sense. Okay, so just to compare, right? I had this concentration for my H3O plus, and I had this for my OH minus, and I should have a pH of 5.4. I should show that it's acidic. Well, sometimes if we're just looking at negative exponent numbers, it's hard to compare them. So actually write it out as a decimal, okay? If I wrote this out, 4.3 times 10 to the negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3. Okay, this is how much molar of H3O plus of acid is in my solution versus this to the negative 9th. I would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 3. So 8 zeros and then 2, 3. Okay. Okay, so if I'm looking at these two molars, this is obviously a bigger number. This is obviously a smaller number. Okay, which means I have more acid particles in the solution. It should be acidic, and it is. I have less basic particles, so it should not be a basic solution. All right, so this is a multi-step type problem using just those first two equations. <laughs> Remember, there's still a third equation to get to, okay? I know, it's brutal. All right, it, but if I have the OH concentration, the OH minus concentration is 2.8 times 10 to the negative third, find the pH, okay? Well, my equation for pH needs my hydronium concentration. I'm only given my hydroxide. So I need to first use this guy to solve for hydronium so that I can plug that in to solve for the pH, okay? Let's do it. So I would have concentration of hydronium times hydroxide would equal one times 10 to the negative 14. Plug this number in for your hydroxide. So 
so times 2.8 times 10 to the negative third. And your concentration of hydronium. Plug this into your calculator. Don't forget parentheses on the denominator so you don't accidentally screw up. Okay, and you should get 3.57 times 10 to the negative 12th. Okay, now I can use my pH equation to solve for the second thing. All right, so different color here. My pH equals the negative logarithm of my hydronium concentration. Okay, so pH equals negative log of the answer I just solved for. So 3.57 times 10 to the negative 12th. And you type that in your calculator. Right? You just need to know how to press the log button. And you should get that the pH is 11.45, which would mean that this solution is basic. All right, very, very quickly is some people actually like to use the POH instead of doing this full two-step problem or something like this. If you're given the OH minus concentration, um, your book definitely has it. And I believe there's one or two questions uh, in your packet about POH, so I want to just very quickly cover it, okay? It's not my personal favorite, but if you like it, good for you, all right? Basically, POH is like, I don't my pH scale. It's like the pH scale, but just the mirror. It's like the exact opposite. So instead of the pH measuring acid to base, it's the POH, so measuring your hydroxide concentration, okay? So it's just the mirror image of your pH scale. And to solve for POH, you take the negative log of your hydroxide concentration, right? And then you have pH plus pOH adds up together to be 14, your total scale, okay? How acidic something is plus how basic that thing is would add up to my total pH solution, pH scale, okay? 14. Again, not my personal favorite to do, but if you would prefer to do this, if you had a question like this, all right, the question we just did, if the OH minus concentration is 2.8 times 10 to the third, find the pH. So exact same problem, we're just gonna solve it a different way. So I have OH minus, so I can't solve for pH, but I can solve for pOH, negative log of my OH minus concentration. So plug this guy into OH minus. So negative log of 2.8 times 10 to the negative third. And you boop, boop, boop in your calculator. You get the pOH is 2.55, okay? Now I just do some subtraction because I know that the, let's get this up, right? The pH plus the pOH it's going to add up to 14, my total scale. So pH plus 2.55 equals 14 minus 2.55 minus 2.55. I should get that the pH equals 11.45, which is exactly what I got solving it the first way. Okay, so two different ways to solve the same problem, right? You can either go and find your hydroxide concentration and then plug that in to find your pH, or you could solve for your pOH and then subtract that from 14 to get your pH. Who cares? You get the same answer, right? Same answer. Two different ways. All right, we're finally, finally to the last equation, okay? Last equation, okay? What if I need to work backwards? What if I was given my, my pH and I needed to find the hydroxide concentration or find the hydronium concentration, okay? All right, so what if I had a question like this, okay? If the pH is 11.45, the one we just did, okay? Find the hydronium and hydroxide concentrations, okay? 
So now I need my third and final equation, which is that the concentration of my hydronium is 1 times 10 raised to the negative pH power. Okay, so this is not difficult to solve for. You just take your calculator and you plug stuff in. So if I had, you know, I'll use a different color. pH is 11.45. My pOH would be 2.55. All right, I can plug this in to solve for my hydronium. So I could say that my hydronium is going to be 1 times 10 to the negative pH. So that means it's going to equal 1 times 10 to the negative 11.45. So you and your calculator type 1 times 10 to the negative button, 11 decimal place 45. I sound ridiculous telling you exactly what buttons to press, but I just want to make sure you don't miss these questions, okay? Then you press enter, and you should get that your hydronium concentration is 3.55 times 10 to the negative 12th. Okay, and then you can either take this and use your first equation, 1 times 10 to the negative 14th, divided by 3.55 times 10 to the negative 12th to solve for your hydroxide. Okay, or you could do the exact same thing for your hydroxide concentration. All right, concentration of OH minus would equal 1 times 10 to my negative pOH. So that would be 1 times 10 to the negative 2.55. You type it in your calculator, and you should get that your hydroxide concentration is 2.82 times 10 to the negative third molar. Terrible teacher molar, molar, okay? And if we looked back at our very first question of solving this one, right? If my OH concentration is 2.8 times 10 to the negative third, find the pH, right? And then we just took our pH of 11.45 and worked backwards to find the concentration of my hydroxide, right? So it's like I'm double checking my work to make sure that yes, I did in fact get the right answer, okay? A lot of information, these three problems, okay? You have to know how to calculate these three problems. Lots of practice with this, okay? Good luck.